Iron Man aka Tony Stark is just awesome both as a superhero and a character. He is a billionaire genius scientist who has a playboy lifestyle and a kick-ass personality. But his alter ego of the Iron Planet flying Iron Man is just unbeatable. He can fly, shoot deadly rays from his chest and his armor is hard to destroy. He can also replace a missing part of his armor with the help of his robot. I definitely enjoy imagining myself as the Iron Man the most. He's a somewhat polarizing person who uses science to achieve his own personal goals and sometimes shows little concern for what it can bring to the world and humans. But at the same time his reason for creating the Iron Man suit was to fight crime. So not only is he an altogether awesome hero, he is not boring and has another dimension to him, unlike the more squeaky clean Captain America, who becomes his rival for the Marvel War throne. I just love the design of his armor, can't go wrong with red and gold, right? Although he is no superhero, Clint Barton aka Hawkeye is just the coolest member of the Avengers. Starting from his very appearance with that awesome purple black suit, his macho looks and that awesome ball, onto his confident and cool persona, he's just as great. I don't get all the hate he gets from fans. Perhaps he's supposed to be like Clint Eastwood of Marvel and Avengers, hence his first name only with a bow instead of a gun. He's a nice bloke as well, who spared Black Widow when he, he was ordered to kill her and the two formed a nice friendship. He's the only of the Avengers who has a family and something that slightly resembles a normal life on the side. Despite being the most stereotypical hero of the Avengers, Captain America or Steve Rogers is a character that is tough to dislike. Strong, brave, nearly unbeatable in combat, honorable, noble and a born leader. He embodies everything a perfect superhero or hero should be like. Despite not being that interesting as a character, his storyline has undergone a series of drastic story, uh, changes and so never was boring. I love his design, even though I think his best version is a civil warrior. Thor is at number 4. Aside from being a major immortal ass kicker, Thor also brings the supernatural to the Avengers. Yet it is a good of supernatural a hero kind. He is an Asgard god and devoted to fighting against evil. Of course, with his crazy adopted brother Loki around, he always has his hands full. They have a love-hate relationship that keeps Thor's store, store storyline interesting. Thor is, aside from Hulk, physically and with Thunder Hammer, the mightiest of the Avengers. But like the Hulk, he never loses control. Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk the one being in the Marvel Universe that can literally tear everything apart, demolish whole cities in his rage. His dual personality gives his character the weight it needs and keeps him from being just a gigantic green raging monster in purple pants. Because of his berserkerism, Hulk can be as much of a threat as a help, but you can always count on him to step up on a cosmic larger than life threat or curse. Deadpool is like a crazy ninja on ecstasy or Red Bull or both, wearing an awesome red and black ninja suit with two katanas on his back. Deadpool is always as tongue in cheek no matter how bleak his life situation may be. He never loses his composure under any circumstances. Born as Wade Wilson, he was once a mercenary until he was diagnosed with lung cancer and then cured but turned into a mutant by his nemesis Ajax. This made him extra agile and able to heal from a wound much faster than an ordinary human. With his never-ending line of jokes and sarcastic quips, plus his crazy combat skills and moves, Deadpool is never boring to follow one of Marvel's quirkiest and most fun anti-heroes. 
the short guy who kicks ass. Logan, aka Wolverine, is Marvel's shortest male hero, but also one of the meanest to come across in a fight. Not only does he have three giant blades coming from each of his fists, his adamantium skeleton makes him pretty much impossible to put out of the game for good. In other words, he heals from a wound as fast as he gets it. With his complicated and un unhappy background, he is someone one can sympathize with as well as grow an affection for, not least because of his badassery. He can be called Principal X-Man. Although primarily known as Captain America's sidekick, Falcon is an awesome hero on his own. Named Sam Wilson, he was at first a criminal in Harlem and then became a businessman and an adventurer. To cut a long story short, he has a tele telepathic connection with the birds and wears a flying wingsuit which also has machine guns and a rocket blaster. He is a badass crime fighter and one of the most loyal of the Avengers. The best of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters, despite how funny Rocket Raccoon is, Peter Quill, alias Star Lord, is the informal and de facto leader of the Guardians, who wears an ultra cool space mask which helps him breathe in rough environments, and carries a cool and devastating laser gun. Because his father was supernatural, he possesses enhanced healing and can also fly through space, which, uh, due to his suit, he also uses personal energy shields, which makes him like Wolverine and Deadpool a tough cookie. He has a soft side and a devil may care attitude and loves music. Hard to dislike a guy who has all this, no? Vision is the only robot on this list, but a very special kind of robot. With no real name or history, as he was created by Ultron, you can say he is the youngest of the Marvel heroes, and as such perhaps the most innocent as well. Despite being initially created by the very evil and twisted Ultron, Vision could not be more different than his father because Tony Stark finished him by putting the brain of his computer Jarvis in him. He has a sense of right and wrong and even compassion to an extent, despite being a robot, which is really amazing, and is perhaps the main reason that he makes the top 10 instead of my other choice, Black Panther. He has a jewel on his forehead which gives him life and power. He can shoot a radiation beam from that jewel and can do a number of other amazing things. Standing 6 foot 3, weighing 300 pounds, he can turn as hard as a diamond and twill. He also wears a really awesome green and gold suit and I love his whole appearance and character. Another amazing thing is that he gained feelings for Scarlet Witch and even paired up with her despite being a robot.